for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first. Couple of innings of work. Josh Bell will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Slider, and that thing comes in at 89 on the radar gun. A ball and two strikes now. Hit hard on the ground towards second, and that's through into center field. Base hit. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's one to one, and he is in there. Standing in now, Vidal Brujan. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Trumbo is there, and he'll make the catch to. Mike Soroka, the 6'5 right-hander, takes over on the mound. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Yanni Chirinos. Skied into straightaway right. Under it is Granderson, one away. So up steps Ozzy Albies. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Throw on to first, gets him from shallow right, and there's out number two. Now with the plate, Leody Tavares. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitch. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. Standing in, Francisco Lindor. He drew a walk his first time up. Hit out towards second. Albies scoops it up. Throw on to first in time, one away. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the former first rounder and Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Trumbo there to make the play, and there are two gone now. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in one of the best on base percentage players in the game, Carlos Santana. But this will find the shortstop's glove for the third out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Mark Trumbo as we begin the top of the fourth. Took him right up the ladder that time, and it's one and two. Hot shot on the ground is short. Marte gloves it. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. So one gone in the inning, and that'll bring up Curtis Randerson. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. At the plate now, Michael Young slapped hard the opposite way. Granderson is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. In now, Yosmani Grandal. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him. And the shortstop is under it to make the play, retiring the side. Riding in once again, Dylan Carlson. He set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Ooh that was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Granderson comes on now, and he has it one down. 
To his left, Young's got it. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the infielder, Patel Marte. A 1-1 home. Fouled off. The 1-2. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. To short. There to play it is Young. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll give way to the third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Hit to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Here's Carlos Santana now. The first base. Bases are empty, one man out. Santana. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Got him swinging in the dirt. Grandall has it. And the throw is in time. Santana is retired. Two down now. So here now is the pitcher, Diego Castillo. First dad bat of the game for him here in the fifth as he was a late entrant into this one. Smoke toward third. He's got it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. And here's the switch hitting. Straight away right. Tavares waits on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Ozzy Albies will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. One out, nobody on. All even now, two and two. Now the pitch. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will land foul shy of the wall. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first, two gone. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Vidal Bruhan. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Sean Doolittle takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And that'll bring up Ozzie Albies. Now the one and one pitch. 
is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. Doolittle has proven to be a guy that throws strikes coming out of the pen and doesn't walk a lot of batters. Boy, and every manager and pitching coach, Matty D, they love to bring a guy in that they know one thing. He's going to throw strikes and not beat himself. And this guy is certainly not afraid to attack the strike zone. And this is going to be extra bases here leading off the sixth. Now that right fielder. Leody. Stepping in now, Leota Tavares. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. On deck, the right-handed hitting Mark Trumbo. Soft liner toward first, but no problem at first, and that's the first out. So digging in now, Mark Trumbo. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. Swung on and missed, and it's even at 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. So a runner at second, two down now. And standing in now, the Grandy man, Curtis Granderson. Two and two. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. So here's Francisco Lindor now. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. High pop-up. Yabro just to the left of the mound. One away. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Bases are empty. One man out. On the ground towards Young, it's short. And there are two away now. now so now Carlos Santana. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Santana. Fouled away. A ball in two strikes. Hammered the other way to deep right field. Tavares looks up. Ball game! This game looked like it was going to be one of those wild ones right from the beginning. But when you could win this thing in walk-off fashion, what a way to win a ball game. A walk-off win? As we wrap this one up tonight, it's time to show our appreciation for the man you see there, Carlos Santana. Thanks largely to one heroic swing. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he played a nice game out there, as did some of his teammates, but he seemed to be the biggest difference maker, so he gets the nod in this one. Pitching and defense game, 2-1 to one, the final score this afternoon. Houston wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Sean Doolittle pitches well enough to get the W, so that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and this has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head over to theshownation.com. They left three men on.